Hi, I'm Claire Long of the White Mountain National Forest. The White Mountain National Forest has been known by many names, including the Land of a Thousand Springs by the Native Americans in the area. These mountains are the headwaters for four major rivers and supply over four million people with their water needs. Do you know the names of these four rivers? The answer is coming right up. Many animals and plants rely on these water sources year-round, including humans. We enjoy the beauty, the adventure, and the relief it brings from summer's heat. The water's beauty can be inviting and deceiving. Ask yourself these simple questions before you consider venturing into any water source on the White Mountain National Forest. Are there any hazards below the surface? Rocks, trees, branches or trunks, or other river debris that could entangle you or injure you? How deep is the water? Water distorts your vision and can make shallow areas appear deeper than they are. Always check the depth before jumping or diving in. What is the speed and strength of the moving water? Fast water can quickly take your feet out from underneath you and carry you away. Children and pets may find it difficult to stand and stay in place. Swift moving water also transports branches and logs that may cause injury. Backpackers need to be aware of the river movement as they cross with heavy packs. What is the season? Spring runoff is very fast and cold. Cold water can quickly cramp your muscles and make it difficult to move or breathe. Late summer and early fall season, the water levels are lower and may be deceiving. What is and what was the weather? Recent heavy rains will affect water speed and turbidity. Periods of hot, dry weather will lower water levels, and winter encounters can prove deadly if a hiker falls in. Are the rocks slippery? Algae and other stream vegetation will coat rocks with a light film that's difficult to see and very slippery underfoot. Always test a rock by lightly putting part of your foot on the surface and lightly stepping on it before you put your whole weight onto it. Do you have a water buddy? Is there someone on land that knows where you are and can see you in case something happens? Millions of people come to enjoy the lakes, rivers, and streams of the White Mountain National Forest. By asking yourself these simple questions, you'll improve your chances of taking home happy memories from your visit with us. Oh, if you want to know which four major rivers are fed by waters that originate in the White Mountains, they are the Saco River, the Androscoggin River, the Connecticut River, and the Merrimack River.